And so you said in the beginning you didn't want to form a company. In fact, you went out of your way to not make it that. You <laughs> wanted to control the growth. When did that change? Well, eventually what, what I realized, once we started getting a bunch of really smart people together, that a company is still really... sophomore year? Yeah, I mean, just... I started off with my roommates, right? And then, and then a few other people. Um, it, uh, it occurred to me that, that building a company was the best way to align a group of people towards building something great, right? And, um, and it's really just, it's, it's a good organizational structure where, um, where you can really reward people if they're building something that's good. You can work with partners and, and reward them if the products that you're developing work well. Um, so it's just a, it's a good way to get the best people involved to build something very good. And where'd you think of that? I mean, I, again, take myself back to sophomore year, and I may have been mm -hmm. retarded in a lot of ways relative to you, but so where does the idea of, of building a company come from? Sophomore year in college, were people like, suggesting it to you on the outside? Had you always had this budding entrepreneurial fantasy? I mean, um, where does it come from? Well, I mean, so, so I built the first version of Facebook in, in a couple of weeks, which was, I mean, it was, it was pretty quick, right? And, and especially for the scale that it eventually w was operating at. I mean, I started it just, I rented a server for $85 a month. And, um, and on that, we we're basically doing, I think, millions of page views a day um, because, you know, I mean, it, we'd have, you know, I think at some point, like 10 or 20% of all Harvard students were logged in at the same time. This was just in the first, like, week. So, I mean, so there, there was a lot of, of stuff that went into building the first version, but, but that was pretty quick. And um, then as it expanded, just got more and more smart people around me to join. Um, eventually, we moved out to California. Originally, when we went out there, we weren't expecting to move out there. We wanted to go out there for the summer because we had this feeling like, okay, all these great companies come from Silicon Valley. Wouldn't it be cool to spend a summer out there um, and get that experience? But we expected to go back to Harvard in the fall. And um, the thing that made it so that, that we didn't was that Harvard has this great policy that lets you take as much time off as you want. So we decided, okay, let's go ahead and take one semester off and um, continue just building things out. And more people joined our team. Um, and at that point, we, we formally incorporated the company and um, got our investment from our first investor, Peter Thiel. And um, then things were just growing, and we, we got up to a million users within our first year of running the site. And then we decided, OK, let's take a second term off from Harvard. And um, then you know, just th things kept on growing. And then we got up to about 5 million users. And then we were like, OK, let's take a whole year off. And then, like, all right, I guess we're not really going back. But I mean, it was never this big decision where it was like, OK, at this point, I'm going to drop out of school and I'm going to start a company, and it's going to be this crazy thing. Uh, it just happened very gradually, and at each step we were just kind of doing what made sense to do next. 